हेलो माय लव आई हर्ड यू वर मूविंग सो आई केम इमीडिएटली यस माय लव द वन एंड ओनली ट्रू लव ऑफ माय लाइफ और मे बी यू डोंट लाइक मी कॉलिंग यू माय लव इफ यू डोंट लाइक इट आई कैन कॉल यू माय बी लव्ड और डियर और वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट वो एम आई यू डोंट रिमेंबर मी Oh I understand it was a very long time ago remember elementary school the girl who sat behind you in fifth grade with the used glasses yes that girl that was me you you were really really special for me back then you were the only one who never bullied me the only kid in the class who never eat me or called me stupid or four eyes or laugh at me when i try to talk you were always nice with me and there was this time when you saw some kids pulling my hair and kicking my books that you stepped in for my sake and then one of them tried to eat you and you just kicked him in the shin and then you said what happened to the teacher you were the reason i survived fifth grade and well i began to feel things for you but then you moved i remember that when you said you were going to move i felt really sad but i couldn't bring myself to tell you that i liked you or even ask you to keep being friends because well we weren't even friends said but i found you again yes this year we are apparently going to the same university and have a few classes together i was very happy when i first saw you but i was too afraid to talk to you i tried really hard but i just didn't dare so i started following you to see if at some point i could try to gather the courage and go to talk to you in a natural way but i couldn't i have been doing it for months and i couldn't in all that time and well the truth is that i didn't only like you back in elementary school well when middle school started I couldn't really fit in either. And yes, I got bullied again. Not as bad as in 5th grade, but I didn't really make any friends or anything. And it didn't help that I got a nervous tick in my left eye. And I school was just more of the same. I just didn't know how to socialize. All that time the only happy memory of a person outside my family being nice to me was you so i fell deeper and deeper in love with you i used to imagine how you would look a little older how would you look in middle school would you have an acne would your voice change and in high school would you be in the football team in the robotic club would you be taller than me and when i saw you in the campus for the first time you were even more beautiful than everything i imagined and when i followed you looking at you from afar imagining just how happy would i be if i could walk alongside you holding your hand i guess i got obsessed about you and a week I saw you laughing and smiling with the girls a lot. I was afraid you had a girlfriend. All the moments I dreamed to have with you would shatter if you had a person in your life already. So I started to panic and decided to kidnap you. I know that is very 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 wrong. Yesterday I went to your home, drugged you while you were sleeping and brought you here. Then I put you in the bed and got too nervous to do anything else. 
I didn't sleep yesterday. But I know that if I have any chance with you, if I have any chance of even confessing my feelings for you, is now. So that's all. I love you. I am obsessed with you. You were my entire devotion. And if you give me one chance, just one chance to try to make you happy, to try to make you feel at least 1% as happy as it makes me feel, just being in your presence, I will give you my everything. And I will do my best, my absolute best to be the perfect girlfriend you could ever think or even dream of. I will do anything, anything for you. Whatever you wish will be my command. And if I can't make you happy, if even after you receive all my love, my soul, my body and my utmost devotion, you still not want me, you will never see me again. Will you accept me as your girlfriend? Please, please, I beg of you. Just a chance, please, will you?